Demonstrators hurled stones and police fired back tear gas. And behind the turmoil in Lahore today is a widening anti-government protest started by the men in suits. Lawyers who are demanding judicial reforms. Its emerging hero is former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. Though aides insist this isn't a play for power. We are not aiming to dislodge the government or disrupt democracy. We are only wanting government to fulfill its promise of restoring the judges. And that will strengthen democracy. But Pakistan's President Zardari is clearly feeling pressured. To keep protesters out of the capital, he's blocked roads leading in. The few demonstrators already here found some communications blocked too. Text messaging's been turned off. And so they won't be surrounded tomorrow by protesters. The presidential palace and parliament today were ringed by shipping containers. Pakistan's not on the verge of meltdown. The worry the West sees here is that politicians fighting each other so fiercely aren't fighting hard enough against the country's bigger threat. An insurgency tied to al-Qaeda and the Taliban is growing in parts of the country. And as another attack today on American and NATO supplies showed, it's growing more violent. But moderates in this protest movement claim the best counter to Islamic fundamentalism in Pakistan is through democratic reforms. For us, we are fighting for the future of Pakistan. We are fighting for the survival of Pakistan. We are fighting for our children's future. Tomorrow, they'll be fighting to be heard. Richard Roth, CBS News, Islamabad.